CGIAR Research Program on Rice, Erie Senior Economist and Value Chain Specialist, Matty Damone, Global Lead, Flagship Project 2. Upgrading Rice Value Chains. What are the objectives of this flagship? Flagship Project 2 is a bit different. It's a new flagship compared to the old GRISP in that uh, for the first time we really have a whole sector approach. We look at the entire value chain starting from the end markets and then look down upon how can we uh, upgrade technologies, products, processes to respond to those markets. So in that sense it's a bit a different approach. Uh, maybe previously we always looked from at farm level and pre-farm level breeding how can we supply the market and this time it's really looking at what the market demands and then going down into the value chain and looking at what are the strategies, products and processes we can upgrade. What kind of products will be coming out of this flagship? So this is still uh, pretty much related to the work that has been done before. Uh, the difference is now that we just embed it in a value chain perspective so the products are still uh, varietal uh, upgrading um, and other products that are related to, to rice production. So technologies are processes, those are also the technologies and the processes we have been working on in the past, but now we embed it in, into a value chain perspective. Will this flagship influence the other flagships? Yes, so flagship project 2 is really situated in the middle, um, it provides input into flagship project 5 by providing market information on what rice, what types of rice are needed in the market such that breeders can uh, uh, target their breeding programs towards market needs. But it's, we also deliver information to flagship project 3 on farming systems. For instance, if uh, flagship project 3 is developing sustainable farming systems, we are looking at markets. Are markets really ready to pay for sustainable rice products? Is there a value for stakeholders? And why should they adopt sustainable practices throughout the value chain? So we really look at the entire value chain. Who are the beneficiaries and what are the benefits of this flagship? So the major benefits of this flagship is going to be income opportunities. So we really have a whole sector approach to look at uh, what income opportunities are there now and can we generate by upgrading rice value chains. By uh, connecting our research better to the markets, can we generate new opportunities by upgrading processes, upgrading products, new way of working. For instance, one of the aspects we try to do is to uh, make farmers work in a different way, in a more coordinated way, and then link with stakeholders in a more coordinated way. Uh, such that at the end of the day everybody benefits. So the major beneficiaries are in fact the value chain stakeholders going from farmers up to even uh, the level of consumers. What are the regions this flagship is targeting? So the regions are, uh, there is a lot uh, focus on Africa, uh, West Africa but also Eastern Africa, uh, Asia. Uh, a lot of work is already has already started in Vietnam. Why? Because Vietnam has a very developed rice value chain, uh, partly because of the high surpluses that were generated in that region because of the deltas, uh, and partly because of the government has really been pushing uh, the development of rice value chains. So we are learning a lot from Vietnam right now. And the idea of rice is to uh, use some of those insights and transfer them to other countries like Cambodia is the first example, Myanmar, but even be between Asia and Africa, maybe we can use some of those insights and use them in Africa as well. In Africa, marketing of local rice is a problem. Can this flagship help Africa in the area of marketing of local rice and can it contribute to reduce rice import to Africa? Exactly, so the, uh, a lot of focus is given on that aspect. Uh, we think in Africa, um, there is of course a quantity problem, we don't produce enough rice, but we also think that by providing markets for farmers and upgrading their product up to Asian rice quality standards, we can make uh, African rice um, much more competitive. Because it's not only a cost competitiveness issue, but it's, we believe that it's also a quality competitiveness issue. And in order to deliver the quality, uh, 
the same quality as Asian rice with, whom, with whom you have to compete, you have to upgrade rice value chains. It really needs to start from seed up to farming, up to trading, milling, all stages are, are involved. So I think Africa will be one of the major beneficiaries of, of the research in this project. Are there any additional points relating to this flagship? Okay, I think um, it's maybe the first time we really feel now that things are coming together uh, in this, in this um, program. Uh, so we're sitting together with Africa Rise, ERI, uh, with CIRAT and with JIRCAS and we realize that we have many things in common. So one of the first things we learned is that uh, we can put our research together in a much more efficient way, such that the, uh, the joint research is much bigger, the outcomes are going to be much bigger than just the sum of each other's research. So I think this, this exercise has been a very good exercise in realizing that we have a lot of complementarities and then also putting it on paper. How are we going to use those synergies? So I think that's a major outcome of this, of this planning workshop. For more information, visit www.africarice.org.